think it's time we had a look at the survival rate and anecdotal evidence coming from anglers since the increase in size limit for the iconic King George Whiting imposed on anglers by Persa in December last year. The desk jockeys at Persa claimed the increase from 31 centimetres to 32 was to help the sustainability of the fishery. Let's just put aside the over-exploitation by commercial fishers aside for just one moment and have a look at the problem that has literally surfaced. That is, dying fish floating on the surface current after being released because they were just a smidge under 32 centimetres. Normally, they would have been kept as part of the previous bag limit of 12. Most anglers I've been in contact with from Gulf St Vincent and Spencer Gulf from Port Augusta down to Marion Bay have indicated a great concern at the number of fish being released that are now not surviving. It leaves a sickening taste in your mouth when you bring a kg in just under the new size limit, but gut hooked. You handle it with care using a wet rag and a hook remover, but you know it's going to turn belly up and float out the back of the boat when released. I've had this happen on numerous occasions since December. I now cut the line if they're gut hooked. I move to a new area if there are small fish around so I don't face that problem. It is a similar story from most of the hot kg spots in the Gulf. That one centimetre has made a big difference on catch and release rates and the following mortality. It's become so bad in some places that the gulls and albatross have cottoned on to what's happening and are turning up in bigger numbers than normal. This definitely needs to be investigated by Sardi. But the vulnerability of a fish stock should have been at the forefront of thinking at Persa when it made the off-handed decision to increase the size limit on King George. I mean, researchers in Western Australia think so. In a major research paper in 2009 on the survival rates of fish caught and then released, claimed most fishery managers regulate the catch of recreational fishers using size and bag limits. They claim the effectiveness of these regulations depends on the fish surviving capture and then release back into the water. Effective management of fishing using size or bag limits therefore requires an understanding of the rates of mortality of released fish before such regulations are put in place. But typical of Purs's arrogance, no, we'll just increase the size limit and bugger the survival rates of those that are released. Just as I was told at Yorktown by a senior fisheries manager, doesn't matter what feedback we get from this public consultation process, these changes are going to be put in place for King George Whiting. The reason these questions can be so inflammatory about catch and release is because there are no right answers, just opinions that are the products of our own personal code of ethics. It would be fantastic for this state if Persa, just for once, did something that was right for the fishery. Stop, evaluate, professionally research and then implement sound management strategies. Hey, I can only but hope.